Gaston stopped moving. Interesting. Gaston has frozen. Oh, no! We need to get the ladybird somewhere warm. Yes, insects don't like the winter. Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. Well, well. Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me, but I am by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! We've just brought one more box of toys to wrap, so... <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh. Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch! <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look! Baby ladybirds! Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <coughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. <laughs> there you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. <sighs> They're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. <coughs> but looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. This is a dry run to see if it works. Light the fuse! Lighting the fuse. Land? Who knows? Ah, oh, I do like a nice relaxing bath. It's good to get away from all that talk about birthdays. Happy birthday, Your Majesty! Ah, oh, get out of my bath! It's not my birthday! I know! This is a dry run! Now, see here! I don't want any birthday stuff! Ah, that's what you say every year! Look, 
I don't want a cake, I don't want a song, and I don't want a pirate in my bath. So, you really don't want a party? No! I don't want a party! Not this year, not next year, not any year! Never! No! Party! And that's when he started shouting. He was a tiny bit angry. So he really doesn't want a party? No. Oh, dear. What will we do with the presents we wrapped? And the cakes I baked. And our new song. And me cannon. We've got a whole birthday party ready and no one to give it to. Um, Daddy did say Gaston could have his party. <laughs> Poor Gaston has never had a birthday party. Would you like a birthday party, Gaston? <laughs> then it's decided it will be Gaston's birthday party. <laughs> Hooray! We'll need a new song for Gaston from the Elf Band. Yes, Your Majesty. And I'll bake Gaston some cakes. And I'll fire myself out of me cannon in Gaston's honour. He'll appreciate it. Not like somebody whose name I won't mention. The king, I mean. You said you never wanted to see him again. And so did you, Dad. Oh. No. Yes. yes. And now Gaston's off somewhere being sad. Oh. <laughs> Gaston! Gaston! Good old Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> Dum dee doo. There. All nice and clean again. Oh, oh. No, Gaston! Out! Out! Oh, oh. What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? Oh. <gasps> then there's no time to lose. <laughs> Lead the way, Gaston. Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Nanny Plum! Thank goodness you're here! We're trapped! Hang on! I'll just magic the door open. Oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. Oh. This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Thank you, Gaston. Uh, hello, Gaston. Daddy, I think he wants to try your food. Hmm. Have a little taste if you like, Gaston. Gaston says it's just right. It's such fun having Gaston visit us. Can he stay with us for... Ever and ever, Daddy. Uh, maybe not forever, but he can stay until his house is mended. Oh, goody! Yay. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Look, King Thistle! Gaston's getting better! Wow. Splendid! And the Pixie Pound has seen a drop oh, oh. to the um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV programme is a bit boring. How about this one? And this programme's too noisy. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Aww. This programme is just right. <laughs> Look, Daddy. Gaston's not sneezing anymore. So, uh, 
Now Gaston's better, maybe he can go home. But, Daddy, Gaston can't go home until his home is mended. He might catch another cold and then he'll be sad. Yes, we wouldn't want Gaston to be sad. Gaston says you are the nicest king in the whole world. Thank you, Gaston. Uh, maybe I'll go and see how the elves are getting on at your cave. Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea, but have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. You're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. I'll give the next legs, too. <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. Why don't you add some dragons for good measure? Oh, that's a good idea, wise old elf. Dragons! <laughs> ah, so this is basketball. What a fun game. Well done, wise old elf, for suggesting it. But, but, but... Game over. What's the score, Nanny? What score would you like? Can we have... A hundred million. OK. A hundred million points to this team. Hooray! Can we have a hundred million too? Yes. A hundred million points to that Hooray! team. Oh, that means it's a draw. Hooray! Oh, what a great Father's Day this has been. It'll be hard getting back to my work tomorrow. Yes, it'll be hard getting back to my food deliveries again. Oh, the deliveries. Uh, I'm afraid it all went a bit wrong today. Mrs Peach wanted an orange and Nanny gave her broccoli. And I think I gave Mr Egg a peach. Or was it the other way round? It'll take weeks to sort this out. I'm quite looking forward to it. I really enjoyed Father's Day. It's a shame it's over. There's still a tiny bit of Father's Day left, Papa. I'll read you a bedtime story. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry. Ready? Once upon a time... A big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and then there was a loud knock on the door. Who could that be? said the princess. With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, the pirates set sail across the deep blue sea. Does the story have to be about pirates? Not about pirates. What else could the story be about? How about Vikings? Oh, OK. Vikings, then. The Vikings set sail across the deep blue sea. And on the way, they met a pirate! Yo-ho-ho! -ho! <laughs> Mrs Fig is asking everybody to bake cakes to raise money. Bake cakes? Uh, well, don't tell your mother about that. About what, darling? Mrs Fig is running a cake stall. Oh, how exciting. I'll bake some cakes. R really? There's no need. Mrs Fig needs them today. Then I'd better start straight away. Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Your mother is not very good at baking cakes. Oh. She bakes horrible cakes and she gets very upset if anyone doesn't like them. dum de dum de dee dee doo That's odd. Who's in my kitchen? <gasps> the Queen baking cakes! Yes, Nanny Plum. Would you like to try a cake? Maybe later. Cakes! Cakes! The Queen's baking cakes! I know. We'll have to leave the country. Pack a bag, everyone. The Queen's cakes can't be that bad. They're worse than bad. They're... Cake time. Who wants to try my lovely cakes? Uh, um, um, uh... I've got rock cakes, fudge cake and gingerbread. They look lovely. In fact, they look too good to eat. You don't want to eat them, do you? You think they're... Horrid. No, no, no. I can't wait to try them. Have a rock cake. 
ow! Did you just say ow? No, I said ow. Oh. Is it nice? It's inedible. Uh, I mean, incredible. But maybe I'll save it for later. Try the fudge cake. Ah, uh, isn't it someone else's turn? Don't you want my fudge cake? Of course I do. What do you think? <coughs> Tasty? <coughs> Are you all right, Daddy? My mother's stuck. What's he saying? I'm saying my mother's stuck. Oh, I think his mouth is stuck shut. <coughs> Oh, that was horrific! You think the fudge cake is too sticky, don't you? You hate it! No, no, of course not, darling. It's uh, amazing! Oh, good. Try the gingerbread. Dunk it in your coffee. That will make it all soft and yummy. Um, the coffee's just rolled off it. It's completely dry. Take a bite. You know, maybe I'll save this one for later, too. A toy robot. Thank you, Ben. I made it myself. And here's your cake. It's not a birthday cake, is it? Absolutely not. This is just an ordinary cake. The taste is completely different. Oh, good. <laughs> Delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Cards, presents, cake. And this is nothing to do with my birthday? No. Well, I suppose it's not really a birthday then. As long as the elf band doesn't turn up. There's one more surprise, Daddy. Oh, I love surprises. You have to close your eyes. OK. You can open your eyes now. Surprise! I said no birthday party. It's not a birthday party, darling. It's just a surprise party. Oh, well then, I suppose... Happy birthday! I mean congratulations, Your Majesty, on being such an excellent king. Well done! Oh, thank you! And now for the giant firework! It's as big as a carrot! I love fireworks. And now, Your Majesty, the elf band will sing a special song in your honour. Oompa, oompa, old King Thistle is a very old king and he's one year older today. Old King Thistle, he's old and grey. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Time for bed. It was lovely meeting you, Mr Gnome. But now we need to get some sleep. Oh, yes. A good night's sleep is very important. Rinky-dinky-doo, rinky-diddly-dee. Dooby-dooby-doo, dibbly-dibbly-dee. Rinky-dinky-doo. Stop! Would you like me to stop? Yes. And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs> Mr Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. <laughs> oh, a mole. <laughs> oh, it's eating our washing. Shoo, shoo. Go away, mole. <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello. Yes, moles don't like us gnomes. 
no idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr. Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. That's why... Da, da, da. I've sent out all the party invites and everybody's coming! Oh, who's coming? There's little Tarquin. Tarquin like party! Oh no, Tarquin is a monster! And there's Raspberry. Not my little sister! Even her wand is rude! <laughs> and Nettle Elf! <gasps> my little sister! She's got a stinging nettle in her hat. And it stings when you touch it. Nettle Elf is the naughtiest of the lot. What do you expect? She's got a pirate for an uncle. Yes, Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <sighs> this party is going to be a disaster. Don't worry, I've got it all planned. We'll have magic games, followed by my magic show, and ending with magic jelly! Magicy, magicy! <laughs> I was wrong. The party's not going to be a disaster. It's going to be a catastrophe! Thank you, Your Majesty. I know, King Thistle. You could have an elf party. A what? An elf party has no magic at all. But what about my magic show? The toddlers love a magic show. We have the great wizardo, an elf conjurer. He doesn't do real magic. It's just tricks. I like it, Ben. It sounds very safe. Yeah, and boring. Exactly. Nanny Plum, call this great wizardo and tell him we've got children we want to bore. I mean, entertain. Ugh. Very well, Your Majesty. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Tarquin like party. Bye bye, Tarquin. Be good. Yes, Mama. <laughs> oh. Hello, Nettle. Ow! That stings. Nanny Plum! Me fruity pancake. No. Oh. Leopold? That's me! <gasps> you? You're King Leopold? Are you an actual king? Oh, yes! Where's your crown? I keep it under me hat. But why have you never told us before? Oh, I don't like to go on about it. Don't like to go on about it? You sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Yes. Well, if I just drop in, I find people usually send me away. But if I send a letter as King Leopold, I get a bit more of a welcome and a dinner. It works the first time anyway. Can I have this pie? Uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Very nice. I know a fact about pies. Do you want to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Pies are never found in the wild. They have to be made by someone. <laughs> <sighs> All that effort and King Leopold oh turns out to be the gnome. Yes, mm. it's an outrage. Oh, oh, he's still a king. And you've all been making such a fuss about a very important person coming. Daddy is right. Yes, we should still welcome King Leopold. Especially after all our practice. Let's enjoy ourselves. We've got a party with music and lovely food. Yes, I suppose things haven't worked out too badly. King and Queen Marigold are here. Oh! oh no more pies. What's this? It's spaghetti vongole. OK, I'll give it a go. What will the marigolds say when they see that? <laughs> They'll laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and... Here we are, darlings. <laughs> 
Where is King Leopold? Uh, well, he's there. There? <laughs> he's that Nerm King. Look, he doesn't even wear a crown. Oh, I keep it under me hat. How humble he is. How modern. Oh, I feel positively overdressed. What a lovely witchy house. I can't believe I'll be living here. Uh, what was that? I'll be living in your house. But there's only room in this house for one witch. Yes. Now you're retired, you'll be going to the old witch's home. You'll be very happy there. It's full of other old witches watching telly all day. Uh, you know, when I said I was retired, I meant I'm not retired. Goodbye. <laughs> That was close. Um, sorry to bother you again, but since there's only room for one witch around here, we'll have a witch competition. The winner stays, the loser goes. Oh, yes, of course. A witch competition needs a judge. Someone important. Uh, my daddy is a king. Is that important enough? A king will do nicely. Let's go and meet this daddy of yours. Hello, Your Majesty. Ah! I'm Wendy Witch. Oh, hello, Wendy Witch. We're having a witch competition and we need someone important and wise to be the judge. That'll be me. I'm very important and wise. If Mrs Witch loses, she'll have to leave her house. Daddy, you have to make sure Mrs Witch wins. I'm sorry, Holly, but I'm the judge and I have to be fair and above board. I suppose there's a first time for everything. When does the competition start? At high noon. I haven't got a chance against Wendy Witch. I haven't been in a witch competition for years. What happens in a witch competition? There's a spell contest, broomstick riding and jam making. Well, your jam smells quite nice. See, I've lost my touch. Which jam is supposed to be horrible? Don't worry, we'll help you make it horrible. <laughs> Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys, tea break. Tea break. OK, okay boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come. Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamond! There's diamond here! Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. <sighs> me too, boss. <sighs> <sighs> I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes, they'll dig and dig and dig and dig. What do you think the marigolds will say when they see this? They'll laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> oh no, the marigolds are here. Hello, darling.
darling sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I say. It isn't quite how we expected it to be. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, not finished yet. It's incredible. Amazing. We went for high ceilings. You went for no ceilings at all. And look at the toilet. Yes, completely open plan. It's so adventurous. Well, it was all mostly my idea. King Thistle, old boy, you're a born architect. Have you considered teaching architecture? Oh, I don't know. We must do this with our castle. Come on, darling. No time to lose. Sorry, we can't stay. Bye. Bye. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Only because the marigolds are completely bonkers. <laughs> I want my home back. Nanny, magic the castle back, please. OK, but it'll have to be a very big spell. Thunder and lightning, blow, wind, blow. Back as it was. That's better. My home is back. It's just how it was before. It's better than it was before. How? All that magic I used has also fixed the tap. Oh, well done, Nanny. I have to say, I'm impressed. Not one drip. Let's turn it on. <laughs> There's a fountain coming out of the toilet. There's a waterfall coming out of the sink. And rain coming out of the ceiling. Oh, dear. Maybe I shouldn't have done such a big spell. Like I said, you must never mix magic and plumbing. I can't stop. Ah, neither can I. No more dancing. Stop it now. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. How does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what. To do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Thistle, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely tasty snack? Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink Thistle! Pink Thistle! I wished for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp! Please help us, King Thistle! Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Why, so elf? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Naughty Gaston! Ugh! Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control! Sorry, Daddy! Hello, Strawberry! Hello, Holly! I've come to show you my new pet! <laughs> Ooh, come in! Hello, everyone! This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle! I say, she's very pretty! <laughs> Watch this! Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that 
That's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, fetch Daddy's slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <coughs> drop! <coughs> drop! Drop! <coughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <coughs> Sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. <coughs> I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> here we are, Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right, I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes, Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Uh... Let's get going then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow! A grown-up dragon is ginormous! Right then, home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <coughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. Fasten seatbelts and off we go! Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Whoa! It's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Hooray! Daddy, my wand isn't working. Neither is mine. Mine isn't either. Wandy, wandy. Oh, the magic stopped. How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. zibbity zabbity zob oh, I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day. Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes, and I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No. <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. 
Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I've a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and you're dressed without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do the washing up with our magic. We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <laughs> so, this is Nanny Plum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed, it's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to elf rescue. Ugh. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how could a bed be so soft? Nanny! Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Nanny! OK, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. <gasps> oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, ho, ho. there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout, magic jelly, more, more, more? Whoops! Jelly flood! Somebody answer the phone. I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. Uh, I, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. Elf Rescue a go. Launch everything. <laughs> We can do magic and play party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We, we promise. promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> Now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello! My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa! Quick, grab him! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh! Is the birthday cake. <laughs> Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad ladybird. <laughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. 
Party time! <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 I yeah, wish yeah, we yeah, could dance with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, we yeah, promise yeah, to yeah, keep yeah, out yeah, of yeah, sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah, I have to yeah, boogie. Yeah, no, yeah, Barnaby. Yeah. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Say hello, everybody. The great leader is very old. It is a fantastic honour for you to meet him. Say hello, Gaston. <laughs> hello. <gasps> Gaston's eaten the great leader. Uh. Naughty Gaston. Spit the great leader out. <coughs> <coughs> Terribly sorry. He's not really house trained. Uh, yes. <laughs> As our special guests, we will now welcome you with a song. What a horrible noise! When are they going to start playing the tune? This is our national anthem. And delightful it is too. Cyrus, why do you live underground? Once, Planet Bong was covered in plants. Everywhere was green and beautiful, and the people were happy. Then the plants began to die out. It became too hot to live on the surface, so we moved underground. Everyone lives underground? Yes, even the animals. Animals? <laughs> Whoa! Ah, an alien monster! Don't worry, it is just a flobber gurgle quad. Plug. It is a pet. <laughs> oh, the flubber gurgle thwats blog is so cute. <laughs> Mummy, can we take the flubber gurgle thwats blog back home with us, please? I think it is much happier living here, darling. Oh. Um, when do we go to the beach? Now we will take the lift. Lovely big beach. But where's the sea? There is no sea. So where can we swim? Nowhere. Oh, it seems to be an ordinary bell this time. Usually something jumps. Boom! Ah! I am Surpriser the Spider. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Oh, you guessed it was me. Hello, Granny. Darlings, darlings, darlings. Hello, Granny Thistle. Hello, Ben. Welcome to my party. Ah, oh, Cedric. Hello, Millicent. Come along inside, darlings. We're going to have such fun. a rainbow inside your house. Yes, rainbows are so much better than stairs, unless the weather changes. Oh dear, looks like a storm is brewing. Oh, maybe you should think about getting some ordinary stairs one day, Mother. Ordinary stairs? What would be the fun in that? Or like a fairy cake? Cakes are amazing. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Of course, they are magical fairy cakes. Mummy, why can't we have magic cakes like this? We don't need to do everything by magic, darling. Honestly, it's as if your parents think the magic will run out if they use it too much. Cedric, you're not eating. Will you have a fairy cake? Well, all right. Whoa! I'm flying! Put me down! Oh, well, if you insist. Ah! Magic always leads to trouble. But you used to love magic. That was a long time ago. Thank goodness none of you could see me then. Oh, I think I've got some old pictures somewhere. Did you like magic? In those days, I wasn't the wise old elf. I was a foolish young elf. How was your lesson today?
today, Nanny? Really good. I got a couple of things wrong at the start, but I got better and better all day. That's great. I'm all ready for my test tomorrow. Ask me any question you like. OK. How do you stop a mole from digging up your lawn? Turn them into a frog. Uh, no. That's not the answer in the book. Are you sure? Maybe you're reading it wrong. I don't think so. Oh, I find the answer to most things is turn them into a frog. Nanny, don't keep saying turn them into a frog. That will never be the answer. Oh, all right. I'll try and remember that. Morning, Nanny Plum. Have you come to take your magic test? Yes, Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Right you are, Mrs Elf. I'll take this one. Yes, Mr Chief Examiner. But that's not fair. I thought I was going to have Mrs Elf. Quiet, please. The test has begun. Here is your wand back. Oh, nice to see you again. Please lift this rock up in the air. But it's really big. I know. Can't I use a pebble? The pebbles are for the children's test. Why can't I take the children's test? Because you're a grown-up, or you're supposed to be. Ugh, all right. <laughs> there. Mm-hmm. Now forwards, please. Ah! <gasps> Whose rock is that? It belongs to the wise old elf. Just be careful. OK. Reverse, please. Slowly. Ah! What's happened to my castle? The wise old elf told me to do it. Sorry, Your Majesty. Now forwards again. And when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! 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 <gasps> Abracadu, Abracadi, unfreeze the children and set them all free. And in a flash, the witch's spell was undone. As the sun came up and the stars went away, all of the children found themselves safely back in their beds. The end. Mummy, why did the witch freeze all the children? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the witch didn't like the noise the children made and just happened to know a spell for freezing them. Yes, thank you, Nanny Plum. Not eating for a year and a day must have made the children very hungry. No, the witch had frozen them solid, like frozen peas. Now, frozen peas don't get hungry, do they? No. no. Queen Thistle, where do the stars go in the daytime? I'm sorry, Ben. You said the sun came up and the stars went away. But where did the stars go? Uh, well, let's see what the book says. Hmm. It doesn't say where the stars went. Nanny Plum, do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. Oh. oh. Perhaps we should ask King Thistle. He knows how the world works. Yes, let's go and ask Daddy. <laughs> Enter! Daddy, Daddy, can we ask you a question? Yes, of course, Holly. What is it? Can you tell us where the stars go in the daytime? <laughs> what? Where do the stars go when the sun comes up? Well, they go. Yes, they go. <laughs> I'm actually rather busy at the moment, Holly. Our storybook said the stars went away. But it didn't say where they went. Must tidy up. <laughs> what? Is it morning already? Oh. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Oh. Uh, goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything! Yes! Including us! It's a monster! How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it! Hello? 
Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now. Right-o. Ben, there's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Right-o. Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing. And what are we? We're elves! <laughs> it's the elves! Hooray! Look, there's my robot! Ah! Put me down! Oof! Dead elf. Master! 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 Oh, it's wound down! Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic! <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? <laughs> it's the proper key! Well, well done, done, Gaston! <laughs> Uh, ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. <laughs> ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good of you to have us at such short notice. No trouble at all. We can't wait to see what the best cook in the world cooks for dinner. Oh, sorry, that's my tummy. I'm just so looking forward to this lovely meal. <laughs> dinner is served. Enjoy your meal, Majesties. Mm. Oh, yes, such a delicate flavour. So subtle. Nanny? Your Majesty? What's this called? Cloud of vegetable soup. It's just steam. Such a sensitive dish. Mm, how wonderful. I can barely taste it. Does it come with any potatoes? Uh, no. Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. No problem. These leftover potatoes, carrots, onions, peas and cheese have made a lovely soup. Ooh, yummy! Um, this steam is delicious, of course, but will there be anything else to follow? Yes, even though it's very filling, I could eat a tiny something more. I could eat a lot, lot more. <laughs> What's that lovely smell? It's coming from the kitchen. This is delicious, Nanny. Mmm, it's the best. I say, what's this? It's just the children's supper. It smells very nice. It's only some soup I made from the leftovers. It's not very modern. You wouldn't like it. Could I try just a little bit? The taste is so tasty. Yep. This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> Midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. My goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! Oh. Out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah. Ow, you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! 
Stress. <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh. She's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle, quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Grandpapa Thistle is here. There's your answer. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Grandpapa. Grandpapa, Papa, Papa, Papa. Hello, my dears. I was just passing and I asked myself... Why don't I take my grandchildren for a day out? Hooray! Hang on, Dad. Where were you thinking of taking the children? I thought we'd visit a volcano. Um, I don't think climbing up a volcano is such a good idea. We're not going to climb up it. Oh, good. We're climbing down inside it. What? You can't take children into a volcano. It's too dangerous. Is it? All right, then. How about lion taming? No. What's wrong with a nice walk in the meadow? I bet the twins would like to go down a volcano. Yes, Grandpa. Pa, 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 pa. The twins are in disgrace today. They have been very, very naughty. Ah, what have the little darlings done? They've only made their teacher disappear. Oh, that nice Mrs. Fotheringill. Gone. All gone. gone. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent your teacher? Down. Down to the kitchen? Down, down. Down to the cellar? Very down. You know what? I think Daisy and Poppy have sent Mrs Fotheringill to the centre of the earth. Centre of the <laughs> Well, that's settled where we're going for our day out, then. To the centre of the Earth! I saw the film of Journey to the Centre of the Earth. There were dinosaurs and lost tribes and everything! Dinosaurs? In the centre of the Earth? What nonsense! It's true! I saw it on the telly! How do we get to the centre of the Earth? We could just take the stairs. Stairs? Yes, there are secret stairs in the little castle that go down, down, down. Ooh! 